Hello, my name is Carrie Palmer, and I can add something to Carrie Palmer dot 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 radio personality comma all the other stuff I've done comma published author. Okay, I'm numb. I am a published author. And when that came in the mail yesterday, I ordered it myself because I didn't even know how to get my book. <laughs> um, so I just went on Amazon and I got my book. And when I saw the mail truck, I sprinted and I couldn't get the envelope open, but I was like, I'm getting that thing open to touch my book that I wrote with my name on it. It's surreal. Um, so I'm doing a video today. I'm not really sure why, but I think the answers are coming. Who am I? Who do I think I am? What does it mean to become immaculate? When I moved to Mount Shasta, I finished this book. It was already written in Newport, Oregon, but the last few chapters had to come through. And I had to come to Mount Shasta, the land of the root chakra, the vibrational vortex. I mean, believe me, it's all I needed to finish my story, to finish living it so I could write it. And then that book came through. And when it came through, I was like, all right, I've written five books. I'm done. Everything can start now. My life can start. No, it doesn't work that way. I was sent on a cruise. And the book that I was, I, it makes me cry. The book that I was born to write was born on that cruise because I was sent there because that's what I do now. I go there as eyes, ears, receptor. I see, I receive. I interpret, and I'm not just one, I'm many when I'm doing this. And going on this cruise, I came back, and on March 29th, I woke up, and I knew I had to write a book, and I wrote it in less than three weeks. And that book is going to be done any day now. That's, I'm shaking. Man is ruining his own nest. And you, you, my name isn't even in Amazon yet. So if you want to find a book, you need to go by the title. So look up Man is Ruining His Own Nest. And when it appears, you need to buy it. This book is going to change the planet. I wrote it in three weeks. I went on a cruise and I saw things that you can't see. And so I wrote this book. I'm not going to get into details about the book because that's going to happen later. But how I got to this space how I got to be the one who is telling you, you need to listen to me is because I did something you can't and will not do. And I know you guys like to argue back and forth to the moon, fighting for your limitations. But the reason I am here, the reason I am enlightened, my number, my frequency is beyond your comprehension. The reason is because I did what you can't do. My dog, my cat, my daughter, my ex-husband, my friends, every human being, living, breathing, that I was plugged into in any way, shape, or form, part of me was connected to them for some reason. I unplugged. You can't do that. That's why I'm where I am. And that's why the books that I've written are important. This book, Becoming Immaculate, is my journey, how I went from a normal operating human to an enlightened being who is alone all of the time. Because when I'm exposed to you and you say the things that you say, I just want to wring your little necks because you want to fight to stay so little minuscule. And I know how powerful we are and what we're capable of because I walk in these shoes every day. And if you follow me, if you've seen my life, I live in bliss. I manifest miracles daily, hourly. That's what you can have, but you can't do what I did. So that's why I'm recommending. Start with this. This book, Becoming Immaculate, was written for the people who you are following, the people who have written books, the people who are teaching courses, the people who are showing you the way to enlightenment. These are the people who haven't done what I've done. And that's why this book was written for them because they are plugged in to parts of reality that when you're plugged into anything outside of yourself, 
You can't get here. You can't. You simply can't. You just need to remember, this is an earth game. When we croak, when we die, we just soak back up right here. And we're just like, okay, we're on the home team now. We're on the home team. We're cheering you on. Come on, come on, make those moves. We don't die. This is my skin bag. This is what I walk around in on this planet. This is immaculate because I moved to Mount Shasta and I completely finished my surrender. I stopped taking medication. I stopped having any need or connection to anything outside of myself. When you can do that, you will walk with me. You will walk in a space to where you have no fear because you know you cannot die. What I do need to touch on, or I'm told things to do. This book, Man is Ruining His Own Nest. You want to know what's going on? See the beautiful blue sky and see the ashen rubble? There's many people out here in the world who get visions, who see the future. And I don't watch the news. I don't watch TV. But I hear enough of you mumbling to know that you guys are so plugged in to something so dangerous, you have no idea what you are dealing with. These books are urgent because you are at a crossroad if you're an American. You are coming up to the most critical election of your life. And according to you guys, it's down to that, or are you kidding me? <laughs> this is what boggles my mind. You are saying that's okay. And this is what you're buying because both teams, both teams in this anger machine hate the other side so much that they will do anything, including give up their lives and their children to fight. America is going to see things we have not seen. We see it on TV. We see it in all these other countries where we send help. Who's going to send us help when we burn ourselves to the ground? I see it, guys, and you're doing it. So me, I don't care. I'm awake. I'm enlightened. I don't. I know I don't die. I have no fear. But you are scared to death, even though we don't die. We don't die, people. We do not die. But we can destroy mankind once again. And you're on the trajectory to do that. So congratulations. I'm going to make this short. I recommend you read Man is Ruining His Own Nest the moment it comes out. As soon as I find studio space that's silent where I don't have stellar squawking, I've got to record all of these on Audible. I've got another book that's coming out, my Sedona story. I'm submitting that in the next few days. I've got three more books. I'm a published author with six books. And how in the hell can that be? Why would I have six books? Why have I not published anything? And here's what makes me different yet again. The books that I've written are parked. They are done. And then the next book came through. If I would have published... Any one of these books along the way, even if it just had a few sales, a few things, these books wouldn't be here because I would have unplugged from my silence and had plugged into a world where I'm now a published author and I have to follow things and I have to respond to things and I have to comment on things. I have not been published. I have been silent for years and alone with God and my dead boyfriend while I've been writing these books. You've been social. You've had to be out there. Now that I'm done writing the most important book of my life, now I get to publish these books and get out and wake you guys up. You've got to stop living under this guise of who you think you are. This will remind you of who you are and why you came here. This will show you the step-by-step -step direction I took to go from normal operating human to where I live in is.
I live in is. Nothing matters to me. I know why we're here. I live heaven in a skin bag. I can't be sick. I work for God. And he desperately needs me right now. He needs all of us. I'm one that said, okay, I'll listen. I'll follow. Show me what I need to do. But you're all so busy. I don't even know where my phone is to show you an example of looking and researching and getting angry. You need to stop it right now because our planet is going to be destroyed. And it's on you. I'm doing something about it. Can't say so much for you.